with a tutorial on this precious cupcake stitch that was done by Rosanna Beck. Um, she did a really cute afghan in it, but it could be done with anything, a scarf, a shawl, whatever. Really precious. You know, so I did a tutorial and uh, let me just say that I was discovering this stitch along with you. So I um, hope you enjoy it and I want to see some of the cute things that you've made with this stitch if you do use this tutorial. And kudos to Rosanna Beck, B-E-C-K, who came up with it. It's really cute. Now this pattern calls for Red Heart Super Saver, or classic, um, a 4.5 millimeter or and a five millimeter. So that would be at a G and an H for those of us who speak American hook language. Um, or the size needed to obtain gauge. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. And in case you're wondering, the color is the turquoise. And when you first look at a pattern, it can look like algebra. And this is crochet. You should see knitting patterns. I think they look scarier. But if you break it down, step at a time it's not that difficult and that's what I've done here on my iPad <clears throat> hope the reflection isn't going to be a problem okay basically what you're doing here is you're looking at what row it's talking about it tells you this is going to be the right side with honeydew which is the name of the yarn that they chose and an H hook we're going to chain 147 um, that's to make an afghan for my sample I did not go that far what I think and what I suspect by looking at the repeating rows is we're going to have a multiple of around 7 plus 1. Um, what that means is that each repeating pattern should take 7 stitches and then you need 1 for the, the extra turn or whatever when you, when you go around. However, since I live in my right brain, I don't trust my math. So what I'm going to do is to chain a rough estimate. I chained 52 and that's what I'm going to do for my sim for my sample. And when you do a crochet project, your chain should always be nice and loose. And I'm really bad at gauging that. So my little trick is to go up a couple of hook sizes. So they want to start with an H hook. So I did this chain of 52 with a J hook. Okay, so we replace our J hook with the H hook and tighten up and refer to our pattern. Okay, so we chained our number that we're going to do and we follow the next set of instructions. Five double crochet in the sixth chain from the hook. Now you'll notice that I color coded this to break it up. Those of us that live in the right brain tend to look at a hole and we freak out. But if you break it up into small bits and pieces, it's all manageable. Okay, so we need five double crochets in the sixth chain from the hook. So, here's the chain on the hook, so we begin to count. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the sixth chain from the hook. Okay, so yarn over <clears throat> and stick it in there. All right, now do not laugh at my crochet technique. That's one double crochet. Two. Three. Four. This is hard to do, <clears throat> reaching over the camera. And five, and it's in the same chain, okay? Five double crochet in the sixth chain from the hook, okay? Now we move on to the next section that I've colored green here. Chain one, skip five chains, 
and then do five double crochet in the next chain just like we did. Okay, chain one. So we chain one. We skip five. So this is the one we're working in. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And then do five double crochet in the next, which would be the sixth. Okay. So we do the same thing. Okay, moving on to the pink. It says repeat from the asterisk across to the last chain three. Now whenever you see that asterisk that I've made in red right there, you know you're going to have some repeating going on. Usually you'll have two asterisks and whatever's between them you repeat over and over again. In this case it specifically tells us to repeat this part across to the last three chains. So let's do that. We're going to go chain one. We're going to skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five, and in the sixth we make our first double crochet. And in there we have to do five. The first one's always a little loosey-goosey when you have to skip. Okay, and then we repeat. Chain one. I'm going to go ahead and yarn over just because it's easier after you count to dig right in. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet in the next. There. So we do it again. And five. And then you repeat. And we're going to keep repeating all the way through till we get to the end of the chain. Now, because I didn't know the proper multiples and I did not do the chain 147, let's see how this turns out. If I end up stopping right here, I can just undo these last two chains or, or however many I need to make it come out perfectly. And we'll all live happily ever after. So let's stop right now. Now catch up to the end of the chain. Okay, you're not going to believe this, but look what I have left. One, two, three chains. It's exactly what we need. Across to the last three, skip two chains, double crochet in the last chain, and turn. So, I'm going to skip one, two, and I'm going to double crochet in the last. I like to hold all these pieces. When you have a skip, it's kind of tricky. Okay, and because that's a slip knot there, tighten it up a little bit. Okay, that's the end of our first row. Now you'll notice that all of these instructions tell us to turn at the end of the row. I don't like to turn until I've chained up. Okay, and the reason why is just because it seems odd to me because of the way in which the, the yarn does. So I'm going to go ahead and chain this four. One, two, three three, four, and then I'm going to turn. It gives more freedom of movement here um, for me. That's just what I do. Okay, so chain four, look it up here, counts as a double crochet and a chain one together. The parentheses is just like an algebra. Anything that's in there is all considered, is what you do first. You do the parentheses first. Okay, so think of it this way. It counts as a double crochet and a chain one, so that equals out to be chain four. All right, moving on. Okay, so it tells us that the chain four counts as a double crochet of the chain one. So that must be for this post, double crochet in this chain one. Okay, so the next instruction says to double crochet in the first stitch. Okay, well that would be right here. Remembering that a stitch is a post and then the top of the stitch goes across like a seven. So they're not actually on top of one another. So I'm going to double crochet here. See where I'm going? And that would be the first 
stitch. All right, skip two double crochet. So one, two, one, two, and double crochet in the next double crochet. See where my pinky's double crochet in the next double crochet. So around, we've skipped two, and we go into this one. Okay, all right, so we completed all of that. We're moving to the green, and look, there's a little red asterisk right there. All right, parentheses, that's all one stitch. It's all done in one stitch. It's double crochet, chain three, double crochet into one stitch. Now, which one would it be? In the next chain one space. Okay, so we're going to do all of this in the next chain one space. All right, so here's the chain one space. So we just stick the hook there and we double crochet. We chain three, one, two, three, and then we double crochet again in the chain one space. Okay, let's make sure we see where it is right there. We did the double crochet, the chain three, the double crochet, and the chain one space. Now we have to skip two double crochet and then double crochet in the next one, the next double crochet. So one, two, and in this one we double crochet. So we're actually setting a foundation here. Alright, so now we completed it. We did this in the chain one space. We skipped two double crochet. We double crocheted in the next one. Now they want us to repeat that process all the way to the end. Okay, so now we're going back up here. We are skipping over to the chain one space for a double crochet, chain three, and the other leg of our triangle into the double crochet space, I mean, I'm sorry, the chain one space. And now we made one of those little triangle things and we complete this, skip two and double crochet in the next. One, two, double crochet here. And we repeat. Double crochet into the chain one space. Chain three. And the other leg of the triangle is a double crochet back into the chain one space. We skip two one, two, and we go here for our next double crochet. Okay, so you see we're making a pattern. It's starting to look cupcakey. Okay, I'll check, I'll catch you on the end. All right, I worked my, I worked my pattern down to the last three stitches. One, two, three. And our instructions say to skip two double crochet and then do the commotion in the parentheses, which would be a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, in the top of the turning chain, which can be tricky, so let's look at that. All right, there's the last stitch we did. So we go one, two, and we're in the turning chain. Now, you know, in a perfect world, you want to get both of the legs, but I have to confess I cheat all the time and do just one. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So do as I say, not as I do. Don't cheat. But I honestly don't think it makes a difference. Okay, so we did one double crochet. We chain one, and we do the other double crochet in that same loop. Okay, so we've completed row two. It says to turn, but you know how I am. I'm always going to chain up before I turn. 
Alrighty, now we're looking at the instructions for row 3. We chain 3, which counts as a double crochet. So I'm going to go ahead and chain the 3 so I can turn. 1, 2, 3, and then we're working on the other side. Remember that I do this differently. They, they turn first, then chain. Okay, so now i got that first double crochet coming up right here. So we look over here, two double crochet, and the next chain one space, chain one. Hmm, okay, two double crochet, and the next chain one space. Let's see, that would be right here. So, there is one double crochet. The heck is that? A fuzz in my stuff. Two double crochet. And in the next term is a chain one. Alright, now we got a parenthesis going on here. Five double crochet and chain one in each chain three loop across. Alright, I remember making those chain three loops. So let's look for those. That would be right here. See it? They're all right here. Alright, so what do we do? Five double crochet. And a chain one in each of those in each of those loops. So yarn over. One. Two. Three. Four. five and a chain one and then we take it to the next one two Whoopsie doopsie, I split that. Let me fix it. Three. Four. Five and a chain one. Okay, so that's my pattern all the way across. Alright, let's see how we're progressing. Alright, it appears that what we're doing right now is making the paper part of the cupcake. You know, it has the little paper thing in the bottom. Okay, so that's what it looks like we're working on. See? Now let's continue all the way across and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're starting to make cupcakes. Can you see them? Alright, I got to the end of my last five chain one and what it wants us to do is two double crochet in the chain one space and then double crochet in the top of the turning chain alright so here's the chain one space no no here's the chain one space and that is the turning chain. You see it right there, the little measly chain. Okay, here's the chain one space and there's where we're going to make the double crochet. Alright, so two in the chain one space. One. Two. And then a double crochet in the top of the turning chain. So find the top of the turning chain, which is one, two, three, right here. So again, I'm a cheater, so I'll just stick it and grab one of those loops if I can. Or look, I'll grab the first and second, I mean the, the loop on the back too. Okay, so there's a double crochet. Let's try it their way, turn. I'm going to turn without chaining up. I'm living on the wild.
outside. Okay, so I turned and I want to put my yarn back behind, which is what I avoid when I chain before turning. Okay, chain three. One, two, three. And that counts as a double crochet. And look, we have an asterisk coming up. All right, double crochet, three chains, double crochet, and the next chain one space. Okay, so there's our chain one space. So now it's getting easier to see our pattern. So we're fixing to make the frosting part of our cupcake. So we double crochet, we chain three, one, two, three, and then we put another double crochet into that same spot. that right and then skip to double crochet and double crochet in the next double crochet so let's skip the next two one two and essentially it's in the center of this cupcake ta-da okay and do it repeat so we do it again. So we do our double crochet here, chain three, double crochet right next to it, which is the other leg of our V that we're creating, or our triangle. And then skip two, one, two, and go in that one. And then you repeat that across. So you make your your um, triangle here with your chain three between two double crochets. And then you double crochet in the center of that cupcake, which is a skip two stitches and in the third. Okay, repeat that till you get to the end. All right, I completed that pattern all the way across, and now I'm doing that last step, which is double crochet in the top of the turning chain. So here's the turning chain, one, two, three. So that's where we make the double crochet. Okay, and turn. So if you look at the next row, you'll see it's a repeat, okay? We're going to chain three up, and then five double crochet and a chain one in each chain three loop, making the bottom of this cupcake. Let's move this out the way so you can see what's going on here. Okay. So essentially, So when all is said and done, when it's completed and you have everything pulling equally, you'll be able to see your cupcake. See this little cupcake right here? See your cupcakes more clearly. And blocking would probably help. So there you go. Just repeat that through the end. Now it also has an edging instruction on here, um, which we can do if requested. But I think that I'll get everyone started.